Hello, welcome to Business 216 Computer Applications for Business, uh, video number three. In our second video, we learned about file management and we will use the skills that we learned to create a system of folders using Windows Explorer. Uh, we will create and effectively organize our folders and also name them uniquely to reflect what is contained in the folder and also to ensure that you can easily locate your folders. We will create a system of folders for the classes that you'll be taking towards your degree and here's an example of the folders that I created while taking my associate degree here at Highline College but for our class here's a picture of how our finished folders will look like we will create folders as seen on this picture and this will help you to keep your class folders organized I will go ahead and close this and I will use the keyboard shortcut Alt F4 to close this. If you have your USB, please go on and insert it. I'm inserting mine. As you can remember from our first and second video, we created some folders and here's my USB. And these are the folders that we created from our last video. So in this video, we will create a new folder. And in that new folder, it is where we will store all our folders to reflect every quarter that we'll take towards our degree. So make sure you have your USB drive selected. I have mine selected here and I will create our folder inside the USB drive so to create a new folder I will use the keyboard shortcut Control shift n and I have a new folder created here we will name this to reflect the contents that will be in this folder and since this is a folder that will contain all the classes that we will take towards our degree we will name this your name and your major and enter for your case where we have put here your name you put your real name and the major that you're taking so i will press on f2 and i will rename this with my name mary kanda and my major business aas and enter so with this new folder created here, if I come to my left side of a Windows Explorer, I can see that folder there. So we will be creating folders inside this folder for all the quarters that will be taking classes. So I have that folder selected and I'll use my keyboard shortcut, Control Shift N. And since I'm recording this video in fall 2021, I will name this folder fall. 2021 and enter for your case if you started classes before this time make sure you name your folder to reflect the quarter that you started the classes and if this is your first quarter make sure you name this folder to reflect this current quarter so i will create another folder Control shift n and i will name this winter 2022 enter Control shift n to create a new folder and now uh, we will name this spring 2022 enter control shift n summer 2022 enter control shift n fall 2022 and enter then control shift n winter 2023 enter and I'll create another one, Control Shift N, Spring 2023, and Enter. You may end up taking less quarters or even more quarters to complete your degree, but you can add more folders if you need to. These are enough folders for us right now. And if we come to the left side of uh, our Windows Explorer and we expand that button, we can see we have the list of folders listed here too. And we can see from the left side of our Windows Explorer that our folders have sorted alphabetically from A to Z. We can do that too on the right side by clicking on this arrow right there. So if I click there, 
I see my folders have sorted Z to A and if I click that again it sorts again A to Z but I would like to organize my folders differently and so to do that I will have to add a number at the front so that I'll be able to organize the folders in the way that I want them to be so I would like fall 2021 followed by winter 2022 so i will rename this with a number i will give this 01 and i will make sure i name this uh 02 so that this will be following fall 2021 so i will click on fall 2021 folder and to rename that i will press f2 button on my keyboard and now uh, if we can remember from our second video we learned that the home key will take you at the beginning so i press the home key and i am at the beginning of the name of my folder and i will add zero one space enter i have that named as 01 fall 2021 i can use my mouse to click on fall 2022 and rename that or i can use my down arrow key to select and rename fall 2022 press f2 home key that will take me to the beginning and this is fall 2022 so this will be my fifth quarter i will add 05 and space and enter to rename this that file here, I will use my mouse and click to select that, F2 and home key and I will type 03 and space and this time I would like to show you another trick. I will not press enter but I will press the tab key to go to the next folder so if I press the tab key it takes me to the next folder and i don't have to press f2 because it's already in edit mode so i will just press home key and i will type 07 since this will be my seventh quarter space tab home key and then i will type 04 space tab home key winter 2022 will be my second quarter so type 02 space tab home key and this will be my sixth quarter so i'll type 06 space and enter so as you see using the tab key will help you rename the folders that are next to each other more quickly and before i sort on my right side of my windows explorer you can see from the left side of our windows explorer we can see that it's already sorted alphabetically and we can see now winter 2022 is coming after fall 2021 so i will come to my right side and i will sort that too and i will use my arrow right there i will click on that that's z to a and i want to sort a to z so i will click on that again and now i have that sorted from the first quarter that i will be taking classes to the last quarter that i will be taking classes let's now create class folders inside the quarter folders so i will come to the left side of my windows explorer and i will select 01 fall 2021 folder inside this folder i would like to create three folders for three classes so i will use my keyboard shortcut Control shift n and this is my first class so i will name this the first class that I'm taking for this quarter. And in your case, name this folder the classes that you're taking for this quarter. So I will name this Business 216 since this is the class that we are taking this quarter. Enter, Control shift n to create another folder for another class. I will name this Business 135 enter and i will create another folder Control shift n and i will name this business 199 so in your case make sure that you're naming the class folders to reflect the classes that you're taking this quarter so enter now that i have these three folders i will create three class folders for every quarter so on my left side of my windows explorer i'm selecting 02 winter 22 folder and i will create the class folders Control shift n and uh, since i'm not sure which class i'll be taking then so i can uh, name this uh, class one enter and I will create another folder, Control shift n class 2, 
enter and i will create my that class folder Control shift n and i will name this class three folder enter so i have these three folders and i would like to copy these three folders in every quarter that i'll be taking classes so to do that i can use my shift key remember that we learned from our second video if you use your shift key you can select uh, from one book end to another book end i have class three selected hold down my shift key select class one and i have the three folders selected i will use my keyboard shortcut to copy these folders in every other quarter that i'll be taking classes so Control c to copy that and now uh, on my left side of my windows explorer click on uh, 03 spring 2022 and Control v to paste the folders and i'm clicking on summer 2022 Control v to paste that then i'll click on fall 2022 Control v i'm pasting my class folders inside my quarter folders and now next is winter 2023 Control v i've pasted that there too and i will uh, click on spring 2023 and paste that there too Control v to paste that so for all my quarters i have class folders inside there and if i click on my expand buttons scroll that i can see all the folders that i have created inside my quarter folders expanding all of them expanding all of them and you can see the folder that all these folders are in is my Mary Kando business AAS folder this is the main folder and inside this folder you can see my quarter folders and inside the quarter folders you can see the class folders in there so in this class and our folder here business 216 for this class we will study windows explorer which we are running right now we will also study powerpoint word excel and access so we will need to create folders for all this so that when we download our pdf notes we can save them in the corresponding folder or in the correct folder so make sure you have business 216 folder selected and let's create a new folder here Control shift n we will name this video files and enter since this is where we will save all the pdf notes that we'll download we'll also be taking tests in this class so we'll create a folder for the tests Control shift n to create a new folder and we will name these tests and enter so if you come to the left side of the windows explorer you see now we have the expand button i will expand that and we can see we have our folders in there so i will click to select the video files since this is where i would like to create the folders uh, where we will download all our pdfs so i'm making sure i have the video file selected and i'll use my keyboard shortcut Control shift n and create the new folder i will name this 01 windows explorer and enter and you notice i put a zero one here because i would like to organize these folders in the way that we are studying these topics in the class i will create the second folder here Control shift n and i will name this zero two space powerpoint and enter Control shift n zero three word enter Control shift n zero four excel in this folder we'll be saving the pdf notes and the excel workbooks so enter and our last folder here Control shift n zero five access and enter and uh, from the left side of my windows explorer you can see all my folders listed there too so the next thing that i would like to do i would like to download uh, our pdf notes for our windows explorer so i'm clicking to select uh, the windows explorer folder and i would like to download our pdf notes here i will open my web browser right there 
and I would like to go to our people website. So I will type people.highline.edu slash m govin. Enter. And when I get to a people website, I will click on our class business 216 to open that. And once we have opened that, make sure you get the PDF notes from videos and files and handouts from Microsoft 365. So I will click on our Windows Explorer right there. And you can see we have the video one, video two, and we have our PDF notes for the two videos. And you can see for video three, we do not have any video because I'm recording that right now. We do not have any handout too, but once uh, I'm done recording the video, the link will be there and the PDF handouts will be there. So since you will be doing this for your test one, when you're downloading the PDF notes, make sure you include the PDF notes for the that video too. So I will go on and get my PDF notes for video one. As you remember from our second video, right click on that, save link as, and then we need to choose where we are saving our PDF notes. We know it's in our USB. I'm clicking to select that. And I know it's in my business AAS folder, so I will click to select that. And I can expand my uh, arrow there to expand all my folders. I know I'm saving in fall 2021. I can double click that. And I have my business 216 folder there. I will double click to open that. And I know I'm saving this in my video files, so I will double click to open that. And I want to save that in my Windows Explorer folder so I will click to select that and I can see up here the path for my folders so I have my PDF notes there I will go on and click save I also want to get the notes for video number two so I will right click that from the drop down menu click save link as and now because we downloaded our first PDF notes, uh, it recognizes that we are saving in the same location. You can see the path there. I will press enter or click save to save that. Again, when you're doing the test, remember to get the notes for the that video and save that in the same folder. So I will close this, Alt F4. And now uh, I'm back into my Windows Explorer inside my USB. And you can see uh, my location here, the folder Windows Explorer. And you can see the two PDF notes that I have downloaded. And they are saved in the Windows Explorer folder. And I can see the path right there. One other thing that I would like to show you, if you click on the tests folder, uh, we didn't create any folders here, but since you will be uh, saving all the test files that I'll be sending to you and the ones that will be completing in this folder, we can create test folders here. And I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift N, and I will name this your name test one so for you when you're naming your folders make sure you put your real name there so enter Control shift n your name test two enter Control shift n your name test three enter Control shift n your name test four enter again please be sure to put your real name to replace your name here if i go back right there to this folder i would like to give you a hint this is exactly what you will do for your first test so if you have been following along that means your first test is ready to submit if you haven't been following along please uh, make sure that you do exactly the same things that we did in this video create your system of folders download the pdf notes uh, for your case you will have three pdf notes and you will submit that for grading that will be 25 points just like that 
so this is our that wonderful video and uh we have finished uh covering the topic for windows explorer in our next video we will start covering our topic on powerpoint and learn more skills on powerpoint thank you and see you in the next video